Hi, in this demo, we are going to see how we can automate creation of virtual machines using Vagrant. Vagrant uses Vagrant file to do the automation. In the Vagrant file, we can have different configuration which would allow us to boot different VMs according to our requirement. Format of this Vagrant file is version 2. We can specify the base OS with box. Here we are using CentOS 7 as a base image to boot our VMs. We can specify VMs networking. By default, Vagrant syncs the current folder inside the VM, but we can change it with sync folder option. We can further customize the VM by giving a specific memory requirement and so on. As we know, Vagrant can use different provisioner to provision the VM after it has booted. In this case, we are using Shell as a provisioner and we are going to install a VIM package. With Vagrant up command, we can boot and provision the VMs as mentioned in the Vagrant file. Let's run the Vagrant up command. It would first import the base image and then do further operations. We can check the version of the base image. If there is any new update available, then it would prompt us to update it. Vagrant is now booting up, setting up its name, and so on. Vagrant would insert a key pair inside the VM by which we can log into the instance from outside. It is now enabling the networks. Syncing the folders and now installing the package. With the installation of the Win package, our machine is now provisioned. We can now look at the status of Vagrant. And as we can see, our VM is now running. We can log into the instance by just giving Vagrant SSH. It would log in as a Vagrant user. We can come out of it. To stop the VM, we can run Vagrant Halt command. With Vagrant Halt command, we can gracefully shut down the VMs. We can now check the status of the VMs. It is in power of state right now. With Vagrant Destroy command, we can destroy the VMs. Okay, to confirm. And now our VM would not be deleted. So in this demo, we have seen how we can automate creation and deletion of VMs to Vagrant.